Well, <clears throat> hello again. It's been a while since I've uh, done one of these. Uh, the only, I guess the only reason I didn't do anything up until now was because, well, two reasons, because I didn't get this yet. Sure, I see 215s like I said it would. I hadn't gotten them until about like a week ago, two weeks ago, and as well, I couldn't think of uh, any covers that I wanted to do that really stuck out, so I just didn't, like I have stuff, I already have stuff, like ready to go, but I haven't uh, really gotten them recorded or anything. Plus, uh, summer school started out for me as well, so didn't have time for that, kind of. Anyway, back to the task at hand. So I got these, the Sure, SE 215s, if I get some focus, it's kind of bright. Yeah, SE 215s, and you can tell, are $125, which, if you know anything about earphones or headphones, aren't that bad, which when it comes to in-ear monitoring, monitoring, sorry, but yeah, so, this is already opened, obviously, because I've been, because, okay, so, I've had this for about a week now. It's actually in this case, I'll open it up uh, after, but um, I've had it about for a week, so I figured if I'm going to do an unboxing, I might as well do a review as well, so I figured, okay, so I'm just going to use them for a week, and then see how well they are, how good they are, and then do a video on them. So it's been a week now, more than a week actually, I got them last Saturday, like a week before the Saturday just passed, so yeah, um... They're one hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, I was I was like waiting for these to go down in price on Mastrop, but they weren't going down anytime soon. So, because they just had a, a drop recently, so um, yeah. So I just went over to Long, Long McQuaid and got these for one hundred twenty-five dollars, which is uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, when I was looking for at reviews of these, it said that uh, like for like price for price to performance ratio, this is a really good. Uh, this is a really good set in the series. Like, there's four in the series. So there's the two fifteens, there's the three, three fifteens, and then there's the four twenty fives. I think four, yeah, four twenty fives, and then uh, five thirty fives, and then oh, as well, sorry, as well as eight forty sixes. I think that's what they're. That's a number. I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah. So there's four. Is that four? No, that's five. Yeah, that's five. Okay, so there's five in the range. So this is the cheapest one, $125. And then the, S, uh, the 315s are like two four two fifty. The 425s are about three three, almost 400, 379 or something. Uh, the 535s are like 600, 500, around that, around that range. Sorry, no, not that range. I think it's like over 400, uh, close to 500, something like that. And then it jumps all the way to like I think like a thousand when you get the 846s, which is like some crazy premium stuff. But anyway, um, this is the cheapest one in the range, and this apparently when I was looking at reviews, they said that other reviews, a lot of the reviews said that these are close to the 535s in when it comes to price to performance, because like you see a jump in performance between the 425s and the 535s, and it's similar to um, this where it's really good value for its uh, for its price. So. That's why I picked these up. I'm gonna check them out. I tried to get somehow try to test them up before buying them because 125 is a lot. This is probably the most expensive I've spent on something new. Usually, if I'm spending more than 200, it's always something used because it's something crazy uh, expensive. But obviously, I'm not gonna get these used, even though people are selling. Um, but yeah, so this is the box that I was in. It's a pretty small box. Um, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Actually, sorry, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, it's a big box. Um, but yeah, it's a single driver. So since it's the cheapest one, it's a single driver. Dynamic micro driver, which is actually what you most earphones use nowadays. So it is still using, not cheaper technology, but it's 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 higher. It's using the cheapest possible technology while still trying to give high quality. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, because uh, the other ones use... What do those use? I forgot. I don't know. I forgot the name of them. Uh, there's a name for them. If I search it, we'll probably put in like an annotation or something. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, where am I looking? Oh yeah. So there's a frequency range, which is always interesting to note because this is how you know how much clarity um, some music has. <coughs> so obviously, like the lowest is 20 hertz that a human can hear, and the highest is 20 k hertz. So this goes about. So it's missing. So it doesn't do about what's it? 200. 
Um, sorry, what am I saying? Two, two hertz. It's off by, and uh, that's another two and a half, uh, two and a half thousand hertz. That's that is off the top, the top end there. So obviously, the higher you go in range, the the bigger this range gets. Um, I don't think it gets uh, <coughs> that much bigger. I think there's one one set that's twenty. It's like the full range where it's like twenty to twenty <coughs> twenty hertz to twenty k hertz, which is cool. Uh, interesting to note. And the reason I also picked these is because I don't know how many other uh, earphones do this, but they also come with foam sleeves. I don't know if you see that there, yeah, it's foam sleeves, and they come with the regular silicone silicone sleeves that um, most earphones come with, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just open this up and a little history stuff. I don't know if you care about that. But yeah, um, what else is there? Oh yeah, sound isolation, which is what I'm going to get into. Oh yeah, two year warranty, look at that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll get, I guess I'll get into opening this stuff up. Since I can't do this one-handed, I'll jump cut, I guess. <sighs> Okay, so I opened it up. It has all these uh, little nifty things. It just talks about how to put on the sleeve, take it off, whatnot, put it around your ear, which I'll talk about, I guess. Um, as well, here is like a package of manuals. I've actually read through all of these. They're pretty useful. Um, it talks, it tells you about how to take care of the headphones, of the, of the earphones, which is probably something you should really read up on if you're getting these. I mean, if you already, if you're planning on getting these. Because these are, they're heavy, they're durable, but like, they're expensive too, so you want to make sure you're taking, they're taking care of them properly, because you want to use them for a long time. Anyway, um, so yeah, back to stuff inside. So it comes with a bunch of manuals, like uh, yeah, a quick startup guide kind of thing, um, a couple warranty packages, uh, like warranty sheets, and, and that, I think the th really thick one is the... Um, Oh no, sorry, that's not the video, you can't really see what I'm looking at, but yeah. Um, yeah, a few of those, one's like a, it's a warranty, the thick one's a warranty one, and then the, there's a couple other ones like the, just the user guide, and the other one's how to take care of it, uh, kind of thing. But yeah, um, I won't get too into that, um, like I already showed you this. So I opened up the stuff in the uh, package, in that little bag, plastic bag. Um, so here are the foam, I'll separate these. These two right here are the foam ear tips, which I, um, it, there's only two here because the other other set are on the actual earphones, which are in there I'm going to get to. Um, and these are the silicone ones, um, which I guess are okay if you're used to these, but I've never been, like these could never stay in my ear when I use them. Like they always slip out, so I just needed something a bit more rubbery sticky kind of thing so that's why I use the um, the foam ones so these are the big large ones which I don't know how well I don't know what I can use to reference I guess I use a pick there's a pick it's a guitar pick so yeah um, that's these these are the small silicone ones small silicone ones it's a medium ones you see my finger and that's the large ones and these are the large ones which I already talked about and these are the medium ones or no sorry these are the small ones I think no no these are the small ones I mean these are the medium ones sorry so these are these these uh, medium foam ones are the ones that come in uh, installed on stock um, they're great so the so the media so the foam ones are better at isolating sound so like they're way better at like cutting off all sound outside and only keeping and keeping whatever you're hearing in the earphones or going only to your ear not leaking out to uh, the outside which is awesome because um this week I used it to, uh, as I was going to school and at church and for, and just listening at home as well. So I'm going to take the earphones out of the thing. So I'm going to move all this stuff over. I'll probably clean that later. Anyway, so let me open this up. So yeah, it's a little case. So when you pull it out of the box, like part of it goes, the wrapped up wire is actually in the case, and then the earphones lead out into a little plastic thing, a little holding that it has here. Um, but yeah, that's how it's displayed when you open the box. But yeah, so let me open this up. I'm not going to unravel the whole thing because it's pretty long. It's like, I think, 1.2 meters in length, something like that. 
uh, which is actually no, I think it's 1.6. I don't know what it was, some number. I shall also put that in an annotation because I suck at memorizing facts. Um, but yeah, so I'll just open up this much. Put that case to the side. Oh, I guess I'll talk about the case actually. So it's a soft case. This is like the um, lower end. This is what they give with the lower end earphones. So I think the 215s, 315s, and the 425s come with this. Um, and then the 535s and 846s come with like these premium cases, which is hard, I think hard cover, but this is like a soft. It's like any regular. It's like what uh, fanny packs, like the, the materials are made of, or whatever. But yeah, so it sits in there. Um, put some better light so yeah so it sits in there and then in here is where I keep like if I had extra if I was you need to use extra tips or something I'd put it in here but anyway um, so get back to the actual earphones um, so these oh man this is gonna be kind of hard cuz actually let's see maybe I can just get the one out so the good thing about these earphones is that if you manage to break them somehow, you can actually um, like break any part of it, meaning like if you break the earpiece or you break your wire, and you can buy them separately. So that's the other, I should have said something before I actually did that. But yeah, it's modular, meaning you can take apart parts of it. Um, the only two parts you can take off right now are the earpiece and the cable. That's it. So both of these do this, but I'm not going to do with the other one because I think the other one's harder to take off, really. But yeah, so you can take off just the earpiece, um, which is cool, because then that way, that way, if the earpiece, the earpiece obviously is more expensive, uh, the two earpieces are the more expensive part of the two, so getting a replacement cable from Shurig is not that hard of a process, but I think, I don't think you can get a replacement set of earphones, you might as well just buy a new set, I think, at that point, because for $125, I don't think it's going to be that different to get a new set of uh, uh, earpieces. Um, the cable... I don't know the price for that really, but because I don't plan on really blur breaking it, but I think I think if you go on like Amazon or whatever, you can probably get it for like cheaper than if you were to go to Share. But yeah, you can buy uh, that separately. So it has a little um, uh, I don't know what these are called. Yay for knowing stuff. But yeah, so this is kind of just to tighten up at the back end. So these go around the back of your ear. So I'm gonna after I explain, I'm gonna show how it looks like with it on. Um, but yeah, for right now I'm just gonna talk about that. But yeah, so these are the the medium ones. Sorry, these are the small ones. Sorry, the other ones were the medium ones. But these are the small earphones that were on there. Um, the small ear tips. Sorry, um, and it came with the mediums. And this is kind of I got the clears because I really wanted to know how it looks like inside. Let me focus. Oh, that's upside down. Focus. I don't know if you can see it properly. Um, as you get higher, I think they get a bit bigger and bigger or more bulkier. Like the 846s are like one, apparently one issue with that people have is that it's really bulky. Um, cause these have like a negative form factor. What that means is like, it kind of just sits in your ear with like, like if you were to put these in your ear and then lie down on your side, you wouldn't feel, it wouldn't feel, you wouldn't feel a lot of pressure on your ear because it's not sticking out of your ear really. It's like going along the, uh, the, the shape, not the shape, but like it doesn't stick out there just put it that way <laughs> but yeah um yeah and this is plastic as well which was another issue people had with this but it is the cheaper end i think the higher end ones the uh, i think for, for the 535s they actually have a metal um, um casing actually you know what pause for a second i'll be back so um back i just, just i just wanted to take off the thing and that actually requires two hands so i had to put the camera down but yeah, I took off the uh, ear tip just to show this part. So that's actually where um, the sound comes out of that side, tiny hole right there. Um, but yeah, uh, I was going to say the 535s, uh, this is actually metal. So you won't feel, it doesn't feel as uh, easily breakable. Because when I was taking it off, like when I first took off the, like the ones that pre-installed, I felt like I was going to break it when I uh, first did it. So yeah, so that's those are metal. This one's plastic. Um, these are the cheaper end, but yeah, um, I guess first I'll t I'll see it, show you how it looks like on. Um, I guess I'll do that. Okay, BRB. So yeah, here I am back with the uh, earphones. I don't know if I'm even pointing at it. Yeah, you could probably see it anyway. But yeah, so 
these are with it on. You can see it's kind of just like sitting there, flat, almost flat. I might have lied, it might stick out just a bit actually. But um, yeah, and this is the left side. Um, and they go around the back of the ear, that's how they're designed. Like you can't wear it any other way, which is really cool for, for me because when I'm playing drums, I have these headphones on, it's like, you know it's there. And this is this is actually what, this design is actually what a lot of uh, musicians, like live professional musicians use, using like higher end, well, obviously using like higher end earphones, but the same, it's the same, um, the style still applies for all those kind of earphones, the IEMs as they're called. But yeah, so this just goes around the back of the ear, and it goes to the back, goes down the back. I have it coming up to my front right now, but just to, for show, Put it like behind my ear, goes like that. It was getting kind of hot in here, so I took my sweater off. But you don't care because you can't see that. Anyway, um, so the cable is what I wanted to talk about next, actually. Um, so this cable is really nice. Um, it's um, it is plastic. It wraps around the actual wiring inside. I don't know if you can tell. It's actually this. There's the copper is actually going through. See those tiny hints of like. I don't know what color to call that, gold, not gold, reddish, brownish, gold, whatever, but yeah, it's going through the, the, the whole wire, so I think it weaves in and out of the uh, the other, I think the rest of that's um, a different type of metal, <laughs> whatever it is, but um, yeah, <laughs> some people had complaints about how this is like a big, a really big jack, like the, how big it is, but for my phone, it's really good because a lot of head like jacks I had to take the case off and then uh, like this is the case for my phone that I use um, so that's what I, that top one that top part there point to it so that top part is there is where my um, ear earphones go in and a lot of earphones a lot of headphone <laughs> uh, jacks are they're too bulky so then I have to take the case off and then put them on like by my car, my stereo wire that I use for um, my three and a half millimeter wire that I use to play music with, I have to take my case off to be able to use it. But with these, it's like I just put them on; and it's fine. It like works with anything because it doesn't. It kind of thins out before going in all the way. Oh, that's shiny. Anyway, but yeah, this uh, wire is really durable. But even though it is durable, I try to make sure I'm not like sitting on it or tugging on it as little as possible. Because it will happen, obviously. Can't avoid everything. Um, yeah, and the splitter over here is very uh, it's smooth. It's not, you know, and it's reinforced as well since it's a splitter. Because a lot of splitters, they just split off and they kind of just um, let the wires fend for themselves. Like, uh, I'll show you my, like, my Razer ones here. This is where it splits off between the microphone and the uh, headphone, which is a different case because the other one that's just splitting left and right. But yeah, so this is uh, the headphone. I already, you already saw a video on this anyway, but yeah, see, so kind of just, even though the housing for it is fine, the rest of the wire is kind of just, it's just like left by itself. And then plug that back in. Um, but yeah, here, when you explain to left and right, kind of at least has like the uh, little stretchy thing, not really stretchy, to help it bend, but not, but not bend that much. But yeah, um, what else is there, should I talk about? Uh, pricing, I already talked about 125. You could probably, you know, watch Mass Drop for when they bring it down to like 80 or 90. Um, oh yeah, I should probably just talk about the whole reason why I got these. Yeah, so the main reason I got these was because of uh, for my drumming. When I drum at church, I needed uh, something to really isolate the sound because whenever I play, I could always hear myself and it was really loud. So I would play softer and that would suck because then I couldn't play properly. Um, so I decided to get these because there's isolating is the isolation on these are crazy. Like when I'm wearing these, um, it feels like I'm wearing headphones, but like way better because like the isolation is way better than they are in headphones because these are fully covering my ear, like my ear, like canal, like the <laughs> hole. Like there's no way any other sound can. It's hard for it. Like it's always like something boomy or something low end um, that's coming through. Where it's like if someone's having a conversation behind me, I couldn't hear them. I wouldn't be able to hear them at all. Um, but yeah, it's really good. These are really good. Like, it, I wouldn't recommend these. Like, if you're gonna, if you're buying, like, I mean, if you have the money for it, I guess, and like, if you just have 125 like, to spend, like, nothing, <laughs> like, it's just 
there. I guess spend it on this if you like higher end stuff. But I mean, if you really want, if you're mainly looking for something to to just listen to music on, I wouldn't use these because these are expensive for that kind of listening. Because you can get a lot of earphones to just listen to music on for like twenty bucks. Um, this would be good because you can use these for a different a lot of different things. Because I this week to test it out, I used it to, for just going back and forth to school. But I'm most likely not going to be using that for using these for that. Because I have already have my headphones for that, which is doing just fine. And I don't have to take as much maintenance with them. Um, and plus, they're, these are really, like, these are actually <coughs> pretty hard. Not hard, but they're, they take a few minutes to get these in properly and set into your ears. So they don't disturb you while you're trying to listen to music. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so, like, obviously you set these to your shape, to shape your ear. And that takes a bit. Sometimes when you're putting it back in the case and you're taking it out, this shape is just the, uh, the memory wire, which is actually how it's staying like that, the little plastic part from the end of the wire to, for about two inches, to, uh, two inches of the wire. Um, this memory wire, it kind of just comes undone, like it bends out or bends in too much, so then you fix that every time you're trying to put the earphones on, so it's a lot of hassle, obviously. But to me, I think they're worth it if if you're only using them like maybe once or twice a week. Like that's what I'm going to be using these for. I'm going to use them when I go to practice on uh, Friday and then on Sunday when I when I'm actually playing. I'm using these. Um, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using for that. This is what I'm going to be. This is the purpose of these for me. So and I, to my friends that are on my uh, worship team at, on <coughs> at church, I was thinking about showing them these, but of course. They're not going to spend $125, like nothing, um, on a set of earphones. Especially if it's $125, they're going to plan on using it for everything because they want to make sure it's their money's worth. So I said, you know what, this is not worth it because I don't even know how many of them are going to use it. So I actually showed them the ME Electronics M6. I should probably talk about sound. Yeah, the sound on these is what I wanted to talk about, really. So because of the isolation, bass is crazy. Like I like I said, it's like I'm wearing headphones. Like the the bass on these are really really good. I like them. Um, I did have to change the EQ on my phone, like that, because that's my main like music playing playback device. Um, I used to use just the default normal setting on there, but then I had to change it to like rock or something on the Samsung. I don't know if it's the same across all Samsung phones. Um, probably should be, I would think. <coughs> but yeah, sorry. <coughs> Every time I do a video or something like this where I'm talking for a long time, we start coughing. I think it's because it's uh, pretty hot in here. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I had to change the sound, pre the preset to rock. Um, which actually, if I were to use them on my old headphones, it would be a lot a lot of bass, which is good, which makes sense because this can handle a lot more bass than I think this can handle a lot more bass than my headphones because, well, the frequency range on my headphones were a lot smaller than these. Um, so maybe that's why, because it can handle the bass more and still keep that high-end clarity so it's not taking up a lot of, um, of the range. So it was pretty awesome. So got a good fit of these um, uh, for a day. Um, I put them on and then I play some music. <coughs> the highest I'm going to is like three or four out of like 15 le uh, volume levels, which isn't uh, too high because on my headphones I used to be at five or six if I wanted it really loud, um, which is good because obviously the better isolation you have, the less uh, quieter it has to be, like I've said. Um, the high end and the, the mid range is, um, um, is all right. Um, I always say, said that a lot. Mid range is all right. Um, it's always the uh, the the mid range that's a problem because it's not um, too great. Um, like guitars are always uh, mid range. I listen to a lot of like metal, you know, punk, like I said before. But um, yeah, the mid range is kind of it's, it's it loses a lot of its uh, bite. I should say, I guess, like guitars. Uh, but if you listen to something like. Like I used to, I listen to a lot of acoustic stuff, which is, sounds amazing with these, like vocals and like a guitar, or just by itself. Like the, it's it's awesome. Like the 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 sound stage, as if you would put it, which is like you know how far left and right um, everything sounds. Like if, if you can tell, like even the smallest difference, it's it, this is this is this uh, does that really well. Where it has a big uh, uh, sound stage. 
Um, if you know what, if for those of you who may know, you uh, get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, the high end. Yeah, the high ends are, are, are really, really, really nice. Um, I like these. The high ends on these are a lot better than on my headphones. It's not the, the difference <coughs> in the high end is not as big as the difference in the bass end when I'm comparing these with my headphones. My Razer headphones is what I'm talking about. The Electra's, not the uh, Tia Mats. The Electra's are the ones that I'm wearing, uh, that I usually wear when I go to school, come back and whatnot. It's what I wore at church when I did uh, um, the, uh, uh, when I played drums, but yeah, so, um, yeah, low end, mid range, and high end, talked about that. Something I forgot to mention, yay, decided to remember it after, so, this thing, I have to talk about, which is in the, uh, the plastic bag with all the tips. So this is actually, I don't know if you can see it, uh, a little end there, it's actually hooked, it's a, it's a little hook, look shaped thing. Um, what this does is to help clean the uh, inside of the uh, the actual um, earpiece, where you, when you, after you take off the uh, the tip, you, this, is, this is actually a little tube, and you use that to clean the inside of it, a little hook, you hook and you go in there and you post like dirt out and whatever. The thing is, um, like these, I don't know, I can't see it. Maybe uh, it's actually net. It's actually um, it's actually like a net, like a mesh. It's like it's a shape. Uh, I can't get super close. Zoom in. Oh, there we go. So it's kind of like a net. So it's hard for stuff to actually get through anything. So usually it'll probably be like you know wax that's like really tiny or like dust and stuff gets in there. So that's why I'd use that. The other end, uh, it's the same deal. It's just um, this is a just scoop around inside and then you get in. It's just like a, a tip, actually, really. It's just in there. And this is more to just scoop stuff out and you know, another thing. But yeah, that's what that's for. Anyway, what else? That's about it, I think. But yeah, sound on these are great. Good value, cheap. Um, I do not recommend using these as a daily usage if, unless it's actually for like live you know if you're playing live every day kind of thing i'm not there i'm playing weekly at the same place um well twice a week i'll be using these i wouldn't recommend these to just listen to music um daily because especially if you're moving around like on the bus or something like this why it just gets tugged or something or if it twists or whatever it's not that good but i do recommend these if you're you know stationary if you're using these for inner monitoring these are really good because they're sound isolation um which is great yeah why not um yeah that's it thanks for watching um but yeah um subscribe if you want to click like like i said comment something um i want to know how many other people actually use this like lower end we're actually thinking about getting these but yeah this is a pick peace